What's up everybody, OT for Tech here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Motorola Moto X once again. This will be my hopefully final review of this particular smartphone. Not that I have not enjoyed doing these reviews, but I really am starting to get, you know, burnt out on reviewing the same phone. So this is the Motorola Moto X that I stated. This is going to be one of the three new backs that Motorola has released for you to fully customize your Motorola Moto X, which is like I said, the very first smartphone that you can actually design front, back, the accents, including the volume up and down and the the ring around the camera now this is not going to be an in-depth review this is going to be just taking a look at what the wood back the particular or in particular the ebony wood back is going to look like on your Motorola Moto X now if you're looking for a more in-depth review you can go to my channel and check out my videos on there you will find a developer edition versus the regular Moto X and that is a more in-depth review so if you're looking for that go ahead and check that out but for now let's go ahead and just take the wrapper off this thing and we'll see what we got inside so as you can see it's your typical Moto X packaging it's wrapped in a uh, plastic wrap and there's nothing different from the outside looking in there's uh like i said nothing different at all it's just your typical moto x packaging if you've ordered one from motorola before or customized one you're not going to see anything different when this one arrives um some of the videos that i've watched uh, before though have shown like a wood m around the moto x but i do not see that right now but as i said i'm just now opening it up so got it open so we'll go ahead and just take a look um some moto x literature as you can see and then you just slide it off and now you have your actual packaging open it up and there you have the ebony version of the motorola moto x which has a little bit of debris on it so let's go ahead and take the phone out of the box and see what's all included and as you can see just off looking on it just a quick glance you can see that I opted for the chrome accents there's a chrome ring around the camera and there is chrome volume up and down and power buttons as well so we'll go ahead and set that to the side and this is the Verizon version as I, I, I never stated that this is the Verizon version you get your typical Motorola um, pamphlet with your you know instruction manual and some more Motorola literature you get your data cable you get your charging brick and you get a sim tool removal or sim card removal tool so we'll go ahead and put all this to the side and we'll take a look more at the ebony version of this moto x okay so let's just go ahead and take a look at the phone as you can see it's got a little plastic protector just like all um, brand new moto x has come with so we'll go ahead and peel that off exposing the actual phone itself and there you have it we'll go ahead and power it on and I really like the chrome buttons. I really do. It kind of gives it a Moto G feel. And I, I like the buttons on the Moto G. I like how they protruded a little bit. And they don't really necessarily stick out any more than other Moto X buttons. But it kind of, I don't know. I just, I really like the silver accents. It looks nice. And as you can see, a nice little boot up um, animation that you get with all the Moto X's and Motorola's. I don't know about all Motorola's, but I know with the Moto X series you do. Same, you know, boot logo. And you can see my custom, um animation at the bottom which is ot for tech of course and there is the you know setup wizard so i'll go ahead and set that up off screen and we'll uh we'll just take a look at the you know the moto x's exterior so i'll be right back once i get up the setup wizard all set up so another thing I wanted to show you before we get into the exterior of this phone is the custom wallpaper that you you know you have a choice of getting. Of course you can always customize your wallpaper with any Moto X, but the new wood backs come with, you know, a whole new uh choice for um custom wallpapers and as you can see I chose the piano for the ebony which looks very very nice and very very classy. I really like that. And just a quick look at the back again before we start getting the more in-depth of the exterior. It really looks nice, especially with this wallpaper. So let's go ahead and look at the exterior of the phone. So taking a look at the side of the phone, you can see that there's actually nothing there. The SIM card slot is on this side and the wood finish goes all the way to the black rim around the phone. Now you can also customize your phone to get it with a white plate, but you're always going to get a black finish at the top with the ebony and walnut finish. Taking a look at the top, you can see your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the opposite side, you can see your power button and your volume up and down, which I got with a chrome accent. 
and there's nothing else on that side. Taking a look at the bottom, you have your micro USB charging port along with some more black finish. And taking a look at the back, you can see this is the Verizon version with the Verizon logo on the back along with the Motorola M where the indent is and the accent around the camera ring and your flash along with the speaker. Now this is just a quick comparison between the regular Moto X and the wood finished Moto X and as you can see there is a significant difference in detail and texture. Okay so I got my other Moto X and we'll put them side by side. You can see that there's actually a big difference in the indent. The indent on the regular Moto X backing, you know the matte finish or the Kevlar type design, um, I think they call it like a web finish. There is, it's much more deeper than the indent on the wood backing, which is the same as the bamboo was, but I'm just wanted to point that out and reiterate that. And another thing is there is like a oil that they put on the wood back finishes that is supposed to help reduce fingerprints. And you know, if you get splashes of water or something on there, because they are coated with a nano coating that aids in water protection and gives it like a water resistance type of property. But they put like an oil on the back of the wood finishes and that's, you know, helped to aid it. You can see, I'm trying to see if you can see it in the camera itself. It gives it like a glossy type look and it almost looks like there's fingerprints already on it before you even start playing with it. So I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure that will go away within time like the bamboo one did. But since the bamboo was a light colored wood and this is a dark colored wood, it tends to show up a little bit more. And let me go ahead and point out that this is actually not, you know, ebony wood. It is just your regular type of wood and they just stained it in the ebony kind of color. So you're not actually getting ebony wood or walnut. Um, bamboo is a type of grass, so that very well might be made of bamboo. But um, I forgot the other kind, uh, meek or something like that. I'm pretty sure, or teak, I think it's teak. And, you know, what it is is it's regular wood. That's why it feels like paper and it's just stained in that color that you pick. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that you're actually not getting walnut or ebony wood because, you know, technically that is a stain. So my overall thoughts on this foam, you know, it, it is, I love the Moto X. So you cannot go wrong if you're getting a Moto X and you like, you know, stock Android, you like Motorola phones. It is an excellent, excellent phone. And the fact that they've even added more customization patterns and backings that you can get, it's absolutely incredible. And I am looking forward to the future of Motorola as long as Lenovo lets them continue acting as Motorola and not try to come in and bombard them with different ideas and just let them be Motorola. And, you know, if that's the case, then the future is looking really, really good for Motorola with this customization thing. They're really onto something. And the same thing with the block phones you know, that is a high customization thing that they have going on. So I really like this phone. And if you're looking for a Moto X, go ahead and check it out. You know, it's very unique and a lot of people don't have this. So if you want to be unique and you want to stand out, pick yourself out a wood back. So I appreciate you guys watching this video.